G'day and welcome back to Down the Shed with Byron, where today we're working on the Nissan X Trail again with an engine light on. Now it's coming up with fault code P0130, which is the oxygen sensor uh, bank one, sensor one. So I'll show you how I got that code out and what we're going to do about it. So tools that you'll probably need, a decent ratchet slash breaker bar, a spanner to undo the battery, 10 mil. Now specialized sort of stuff uh, you may require is an OBD reader. Now this socket, the oxygen sensor socket, is a 22 mil or 7 eighths. Now I brought this off eBay, um, but yeah, that was handy as. And then obviously the sensor, I'll put the part number for that in the description. Now if you're looking for the O2 port, it's straight underneath the dash here. It's that white plug. So I'll plug the OBD reader into it and we'll turn the card on. So with the OBD reader plugged in, I've got the key in the on position. We'll just go into read codes. Stored codes. And there we go. So what I did is I uh, cleared the code, took the car for a run again, but the engine light basically came straight back on. So I did a bit of Google research and it showed us it's the oxygen sensor on the manifold and I'll show you that now. So hopefully you can see down here, there's an oxygen sensor right here where my finger is and then there's one just down lower there. So what we're playing with is this one here. What I've done is I disconnected the plug and gave that a clean out, reconnected it and found code did clear for a little bit, but it come on once again. So I end up ordering the oxygen sensor for it and we're just going to replace that out now because it's a cheap component to change out. Now with any electrical work like this, I like to disconnect the battery. So you just remove the earth, 10 mil spanner. Now I'm doing this with the engine cold. Just be aware that this is hot. <laughs> um, so I just removed that plug, which I found just pulls off that clip. Push that little tab in, then the plug comes undone. So when you're first initially checking it, just have a look inside there, making sure the pins are in place. They're not corroded or broken or anything like that. And the wiring on the back. Now we'll move down to that sensor socket with the cutaway thread that over the wire harness and try and get it in a good position so you can get the ratchet onto it okay so you haven't got much movement so we'll try and crack that obviously try and use open hand so you don't smash your hand against the radiator oh that's undone okay so now we'll just take that off Will it unscrew by hand? Oh, we're lucky. Cool. So now we'll just pull that out. And there we have the old sensor. So we'll uh, put our new one in, see what happens. And with our new one alongside of it, there's a slight, must be an upgrade to the end of it but I've just double checked the plug to make sure that's the same and it does give you a torque. So 35 to 45 Newton meters. So yeah, if you can get a torque wrench in there, you can do it up to that. Now with a little bit of fishing, you can get it started. Screw it in by hand, just hopefully as far as you can. Just be aware of that wiring harness. <laughs> so you've you only got a little bit of movement and then you've got to readjust that socket, but that feels like a click, 45 Newton meters. We'll double check it anyway. Now we'll bring that plug up, plug it in, run that through the little P-clamp again. Reconnect our battery, tighten it up. Let's uh, start it up. Now the engine light was coming on straight away for me, so depending on your case. Okay, 
cleared obviously doors open and seat belts not connected but um so i'll just take that for a test run down the road and back and uh get some lunch and see how it goes and i'll let you know the outcome the test run went well i've done a bit of running around stopping and starting switching it on and off uh no engine light at the moment fingers crossed so i'm clear to say that's good to go all right well that's job done thanks for watching hope this video helps you out in any way uh, if there's anything i've missed throw it in the comments otherwise yeah take it easy and i'll see you when i'm looking at you